if you're new here and today I thought hmm what would be my youtube channel without a day in my life video so today is just a voiceover Clara and I'll take you along the activities I usually do in my productive days hopefully you will get some inspiration so the first thing I do is to pick up an outfit it usually takes me 20 seconds or 20 minutes nothing in between <laughs> then I do the hygiene and then breakfast and I usually have peanut butter toast or oatmeal and it's usually something just super quick and easy. And today I felt super brave because I took white jeans. <laughs> and what's not that quick and easy is my skincare routine. <laughs> so first I put on this cute headband because otherwise my bangs would get greasy. And then I start with vitamin C serum from La Roche. I don't use it every day, but maybe every two or three days. And if you have any other tips for serums, I would gladly try them, as I'm planning to purchase more. And then I hydrate my skin with Clinique Moisturizer Surge Intense 72 hours. And listen, I'm quite new in skincare routines, and it took me a while to realize that buying cheap creams from DMs, which make my skin drier than before, aren't a good idea. And this is not a clinic advertisement or anything, but I really like their products. So you'll probably see me using these quite often. Then I use this clinic all about eyes to reduce circles and puffs and lastly sunscreen. And it's very important step of every routine. And if you don't have one, go buy it right now. This is all I use for my face. And lastly, I apply mascara. I get this for my birthday or Christmas because it's dear and it's called iconic over curl and i really recommend this one and so after my face is glowing shining and well moisturized uh it's time to go to school and because my school starts at 10 i like to go to a library at least an hour before i go to class and catch up on some lectures or homeworks my first lecture of the day is called machine learning and image processing and it's one of my favorite courses for this semester here we did some segmentation techniques for animal images and how cute is this cat after the lecture i went to do some shopping for my lunch and i decided to buy some flowers for my boyfriend because one we are breaking the norms and second he did a lot of interviews lately and i'm very proud of him so here i'm installing the surprise and then it's time for my regular daily caffeine dose of matcha. I'm making matcha tonic instead of matcha lattes lately because I always drink something for half a year, then I get sick of it and I find myself a new caffeinated drink. So this is matcha, pink tonic and a tablespoon of lemon juice. I snack on this delicious brownie and regarding the drink, I can guarantee that your neighbors won't drink your matcha because it looks weird, let's be honest. <laughs> Then I joined the meeting about one of the projects I have for school and I would like to talk about this one a bit. What we do is this running challenge for students from Masaryk University where you can run for your faculty and the faculties compete with each other. The challenge is a whole April and will be on Strava app. So if you're from Masaryk University, definitely join because there will be a lot of interesting prizes for the faculty's runners and for the overall winners as well. Yesterday we also shoot an Instagram reel with my teammate and we literally went through a whole city so stay tuned for that as well and follow us on Instagram. I will link all these sources down below. And that's the end of the camera break and I'm going to cook some lunch. I somehow ended up with a whole bag of spinach and it's my spinach baby now. So I cooked it on some garlic with pasta, I added some olives, dried tomatoes and watched my new favorite K drama called 2125. And then I hit the gym with my friend, which was very much needed as I mostly sit all days. And I like it more to go with a friend than alone because we can alternate the machines and hype each other. And since this was upper body day, it was much needed and my arms hurt it so bad I couldn't even shower. And if I don't go to gym, I make sure to go at least for a Pilates class or circle training because I like to stay active. And it's hard for me to buy snacks after these trainings or in general because uh, I'm gluten free. 
and luckily they have this super cheap sushi in Albert these days which is quite easy to snack on and I combined it with a spinach smoothie because you can't apparently never have enough spinach <laughs> and I waited for my boyfriend in front of the school as I ate my sushi but I found out he already went for our lecture so I ran there as well eating my sushi on the go and that was my last lecture of the day which ends at 8 p.m. so we usually go to the pub afterwards because the lecture is very socializing in opposed to all my other informatic lectures <laughs> but today we decided to have a chill evening and we had to buy plane tickets to Amsterdam uh, but then we went for a quick shopping and here I'm taking my makeup off with Clinique take the day off and of course I will link all the products I talked about down below and honestly it's crazy how a whole day fits just into five minute video even though it was a super busy day everything goes so fast lately and it was literally snowing last week and it's 20 degrees now that's why I like to capture all these moments and take pictures all the time because it's my virtual and visual diary and what I also did for some time was to write a sentence or two about each day and the most story worthy moment. And this is the hack I have read from a book called Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. Highly recommend. I will also link it, link it down below. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed spending a day with me. I'm going to read a book now and go to sleep before another busy day. See ya! Thank you.